As is often the case, Jesus introduces a parable uh, in a, with some simple and straightforward words, and they help us to both understand its theme and apply it to our own lives. Jesus told his disciples this parable to show that they should always pray and never give up. Some versions use the words, never lose heart. We live in a world where quick solutions are the name of the game. However, in this parable on the theme of prayer, it's not quick solutions, but persistence that reaps the greatest reward. Let me read to you from Luke chapter 18, 1 through to 8. Then Jesus told his disciples a parable to show them that they should always pray and not give up. He said, in a certain town there was a judge who neither feared God nor cared what people thought. And there was a widow in that town who kept coming to him with the plea, grant me justice against my adversary. For some time he refused, but finally said to himself, even though I don't fear God or care what people think, yet because this widow keeps bothering me, I will see that she gets justice so that she won't eventually come and attack me. And the Lord said, listen to what the unjust judge says. And will not God bring about justice for his chosen ones who cry out to him day and night? Will he keep putting them off? I tell you, they will see that they get justice and quickly. However, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on the earth? After all, Jesus sometimes prayed at night. It's not strange that uh, the concept of people praying all night. We know in the Garden of Gethsemane, the result was the need to continue on the journey to the cross for him. The pattern of persistence is a very necessary pattern in prayer. And it's a necessary feature of the ministry of Jesus when we look at it, when we consider it in its fullness. We remind ourselves that Jesus was teaching the disciples here, not the crowds. So often parables, it's to the crowd or people who felt this way or that way. But here he's talking to the disciples. And he uses the example of a widow to teach them something very profound. The widow in the parable had justice on her side. The widow had no power in the world on her side, but she seeks the power of justice, which is interesting when we've talked a little bit about law just a few moments ago. However, justice often comes to those who continue to appeal for it. Jesus teaches that God will grant justice to his own if they're prepared to persevere and not to give up. This is an argument from the lesser to the greater. We have the contrast between an unjust judge and a persistent widow. I think that's a marvellous pattern about prayer, that if God is, is going to be understood in any way as responding to us, it is our faithfulness, our willingness to persist that will make all the difference, to find ourselves in a place where we're not going to give up if somebody doesn't respond to us immediately. To think that that human experience, and it relates, of course, to a widow and to a judge, can be applied to a greater picture, which is the picture of God's providence and God's care in our lives, I think is a marvellous lesson. And it has much, much to teach us. So what we see here is Jesus saying to us, in our lives, all of us have things that, that confront us, present themselves to us. And if we're going to in any way find ourselves responding to God's will and him responding to us, it will be because we don't give up. We keep at it. We persist. We persist even when everything seems to be against us. Now, the disciples, I don't know what they would be thinking at this time, but I do know that they would remember these kind of words later. If it's only a short time later, they'll be facing the, the realities of facing up to the passion, the suffering. And then after Jesus has died, learning to, to, to live out and bear out that witness day by day. Look back, remember the stories. Remember the things that Jesus taught us. And as they remember this story, it would be imprinted, I think, upon their spirituality, imprinted upon their whole philosophy of life. And when in a short period of time, really within 20, 30 years, the Christian community is being persecuted, they have to persist. They have to keep at it. And we've just learned something of, of people who have, uh, have maintained a, a presence in our own Australian community. And for many of them, persistence was so important about an idea, a philosophy, a thought. When you're in leadership, how important it is to persist and not to give up. And I think this is really such an important message for us to learn in our Christian discipleship. 
What about you? Are you in a place where, where you are inclined, tempted, pulled away, as it were, and tempted to give up? Well, persist. That's what Jesus is saying. And really, he reminds us in this parable of what the judge might say in this situation. Even if she's going to wear me out with her constant asking of things, if that's going to happen, I'm going to make sure that she gets justice. And God does respond to us and does respond to us when we're prepared to be persistence. So this was a lesson for the disciples. It's a lesson for me. And I suspect it's a lesson for you. What does the lesson have to teach you about life and about those things that are so important as you seek to live out the Christian life? We meet people every day at Wesley Mission. And one of our greatest encouragements is to say, don't give up.